Hey guys, it's Allison with Breezy Blessings. And yes, it has been a hot minute since I have gotten on here to share anything. Um, I have found myself in a season where I, so I have two in college and two in high school, all boys. Um, tremendous blessings. But it's a weird season, just kind of a season of in-between. And um, found my mama brain a little bit more stretched than I think I had anticipated in the season and anyways it just keeps me bouncing around from different activities and not really taking the time to create as much as I thought maybe I would be able to but not complaining it's just different um, anybody else experience that in the in-between stages it's a little bit more taxing on me than I think even when they were younger um, I don't know so if anybody else experienced that shoot me a message because um, we can commiserate together but um, or just relate not really commiserate I guess but in the last couple weeks um, I have both asked by a friend to make flowers for her nursery for her um, upcoming birth of another baby so I've been having fun doing that and I made some other different color roses and ones that I had just created with a template that I had made found online and then one that I'd made myself but then I was in Hobby Lobby and I found on clearance of course there's wonderful little reddish orange stickers that are so easily found um, this Sizzix framelit and it does not state what kind of flower it is, but it does look kind of like a peony. Um, I guess it depends upon how you kind of move the petals, so what direction you face them. But I was excited to try it, and I have made one, as you can see here. Very pleased with how it turned out. I didn't make it quite as tight as they've done the petals here, but I thought it would be fun to just show you how I did it and so I'm hopping on here so anyways put that up there so in the directions it says to fold a piece of cardstock and then to place your die cut on it you'll notice that on the bottom of each of these die cuts there's no cutting area so you overlap that area on your fold and then you can unfold the piece to look like that. I hope you can see that. Okay, so I found that I can fit all of these little framelits um, onto one folded piece of eight and a half by 11 cardstock, but I do not overlap one of them. So this one is the one that I will not be overlapping, and it makes that piece, which is like the second piece um, from the inside. However, it still works. So I was just going to show you that super fast and see how it turns out. So I've got my Sizzix Big Shot with the extended platform, and then on... You're going to use your thinlets platform. <coughs> Excuse me. Remember, this is not a cutting surface, so you're going to have your cutting surface and then your other plate to go on top of it. Like I said, I'm going to use a one eight and a half by eleven piece of cardstock. I'm going to fold it in half. And then I like to place mine onto the cutting mat and then place my die cuts so that then I don't they don't fall off. I know a lot of people use either washi tape or painter's tape to secure their thinlets, which is makes it you know secure and it certainly works. Um, but I'm not going to do that for this particular project. So like I said, I'm overlapping the end of these onto the fold. 
And then this one is the only one that I'm not, but it fits right there and still makes the shape that I need it to make. And I'll show you how I cut that off at the end. take each of the die cuts off if it doesn't cut all the way through just take your scissors and snip it one piece second petal the middle section and then for this that does not have a fold on it these are going to be separate but you'll see later on that when you make the flower it doesn't make any difference so we're just going to cut at the base of this cut them off oh I only snipped one snip both so then that's the section that goes it goes middle, the second set of petals, third set, and then the last set of petals. So I'm going to do three more just like this. Okay, so as you can see, I have four sets of each section of the flower, and now it's just a matter of gluing them together. I have a low, um, yeah, low temperature hot glue gun. Um, couldn't think of the word temperature there. And that's been heated up and so we are ready to go um, with that the, so, but the first step you want to do is just gently unfold them and then you're gonna give them a bend um, in the instructions they actually had one of those really cool little like curlers like a ribbon curler kind of thing I do not have one of those um, I do have a bone folder though and this works just as well um, if you do not have a bone folder you could always just take a pencil or a marker and curl them up and around but point is, is that you want to be gentle with it and then curl all of them so I'm going to do mine like that and I'm going to go through each one of these and then each petal and it do in the same way I'm going to do all of mine curling in but of course you could do some of yours curling out um, it's entirely up to you because flowers are like that. If you look at flowers in creation, you'll see that the, the um, petals go both ways. So just have fun and use your imagination with that.
Okay, so now that they're all curled, it's time to actually glue them together. I'm going to start with the centerpiece, and I'm going to glue all four of them together. I like to just kind of smoosh it to get the center a little bit tighter. And of course, that's entirely up to you how tight or not tight you want it to be. So there's the center. The next ones are the small petals. And like I said, because these I did not cut these on a fold, I'm going to now have to glue them together. So it's, it is one little added step but it allows me to fit it all onto that one piece of cardstock. So I'm going to proceed and go ahead and glue the center of these together, and then you'll just see me overlapping the petals. Okay, so that section is glued together, and now I can glue the center of it inside of it. Okay, so now that that section is done, you can go ahead and kind of smoosh those petals together as well. Kind of just ball it up gently. I'm not pushing very hard at all. I'm just kind of cupping it in my hand as I would almost like a snowball. Smoosh it together and then you have the center. The next step is the kind of medium. So that here's the next petal in comparison to that one. This is going to, I'm going to glue all of these together and then place this on top of that, just like I did with the first two sections. So that section is done and you can see it's already definitely forming into what looks like a flower. So I'm going to smoosh this together and then I'm going to add the bottom layer. And there you have it. Um, you can always curl the edges a little bit more so if you want it to be a little bit of a tighter flower. Um, on the back of mine, in order to hang them on the wall, I'll show you the finished one. I just cut a little piece of florist wire and twisted it. And so here's one that is prepared to put on the back of that one. And then just from some scrap paper, I just punched that little scalloped edge. You can just use a regular piece of scrap. It doesn't have to look fancy. And just hot glue it to the back and cover it. And then that is ready to go on the wall. So I hope you enjoyed. And um, if you ever find a Hobby Lobby clearance flower die cut, um, do pick it up because they're really not difficult to put together. Thank you.